Hi guys, this is Thunder E from Board at Work and today you're taking a look at our unboxing of the Samsung U9000 4K OLED TV. So model number is actually HU9000, but they call it the U9000 anyway. So this is a 65 inch 4K OLED TV. We saw this at CES um, 2014. We also saw this about three weeks ago in New York and we have it in house here. So we're gonna unbox this, take a look at this. Now the 65 inch TV uh, retails for 4,999, so basically 5,000 bucks, which is relatively inexpensive for a 65 inch curved OLED TV. So let's go ahead and uh, open this up. Uh, this looks like the base panel for the TV and cable guide right here. And over here says Samsung accessories. So I presume this is where you're going to have all your cable wires, TV accessory kits, uh, remote control, TV glass. We'll open that in a second, but we'll just put it aside. Ah, so this is the One Connect box. So if you remember this from CES and the event, this is basically your evolution kit for the 2014 edition of Samsung OLED TVs. And what you have here, same similar to what you had from 2013 anyway, uh, is you have this one singular box unit Samsung. Um, basically this attaches separately to your TV. So what you have here is four HDMI ports, HDMI 2.0. This also has a coaxial cable, of course for your cable. Uh, Ethernet, you do have here, this is an audio component uh, port AV1, AV2. Then you also have a service port here. I guess this is for in-house servicing. And then you have the one connector port that goes from here to your TV. Now if you bank around to the technically the right hand side but left from the back you do have a usb 3.0 and two usb 2.0s you do have an ir out for your ir cables so of course you need an ir cable for this as well as the optical cable and that's pretty much it for the one connector port well, before that here is uh, this is the back panel for the tv i believe Actually, this is the stand for the TV. So this is stand base for the TV. And remember this part we showed you earlier? Hooks up that way. So just to let you know. All right, here is our Samsung U9000 fully assembled. It's actually pretty easy to put the base. Just follow the instructions, attach the screws, four screws for the base. Uh, the two base attachments and four screws to the back of the TV with the base. So here, just looking at the TV, this thing is gorgeous. It's got that nice bend to it. So we're gonna move closer. And so do mind me as I actually uh, lift up my camera here and try and bring that closer for you. So I do apologize if it gets shaky and all that fun stuff. But here's the TV panel and wanting to give you a nice look at the panel in here, the TV. You can see the curved nature as it goes around. Again, this is a 65 inch uh, model. Now this of course uh, resells for four, uh, 4,999. Now you also do have a webcam with this TV and that is actually right here. It's a pop out webcam, just like the previous models, you have to pop it out, which can be annoying. That's one thing I will say is annoying about the setup of the TV is just that, that aspect of the webcam. But if you Back over to the back of the TV here and take a look at the back panel. Like I said, this is where the four screws go at the back. You do have your one connector port right there. So that's where the one connector cable comes from, from your um, upgraded one uh, connector kit. At the lower left-hand corner, or at least my left-hand corner on the screen here, that's where you have your manual power button as well as your directional pad to actually use function keys and things like that. And then on the far right-hand side is where you have your power cable 
and uh, that's pretty much it. There's not much in the back, very minimalistic because you do have that one connector port. So let's take a look at the port itself directly and also at the remote control and then we will fire this TV and set it up. New remote control. This is the updated remote control for the Samsung U9000. So what you have here on the very top is the power button, search button allows you to search. You've got a keypad function to bring out a keypad and source button all on the top layer. Then you have your volume keys, your voice button to bring up voice controls. And then you also have the uh, channel changer and a directional pad that's clickable in the center. Return, smart Samsung hub, guide. Then you have playback controls right below. You have a 3D button, MTS, CC for closed caption, picture size, menu, and M screen. Now this TV also gives you the ability to upscale to UHD so you can upscale content to UHD. And we're gonna fire it up and run our setup and see how this TV handles overall. So we need to plug in our connect one uh, connector to actually get things rolling. So let's do that. All right, that was the intro video. Now hit OK. English. All right, so we connected. Hit next. Just finished step two. Downloading this may uh, take a while depending on uh, your connection, which shouldn't be a problem for us. Make sure you accept all the necessary things, agree to all. Do you confirm? Check box, yes. Yes, I'm selling my life to Samsung. Uh, select source of your uh, line of TV signal. So satellite, cable, antenna. We have nothing connected now, so you can skip that and hit no TV display only and choose the options here. Because if we picked satellite or cable, it will try to look for a source. We have nothing connected, so we can pick no. Display, select. Smart TV is not ready to use. Uh, the more you use your TV, the smarter it will get. So smart TV will end. And that's pretty much it for the setup. Eco sensor is on. Turn on the smart TV hub. Let's see what we have here. So uh, you can, of course, get these applications. You have Netflix, YouTube, Amazon, Instant Video, Pandora, Facebook, TuneIn Radio Explorer. Um, you also have the e-manual browser, all that stuff there. Now. We can move uh, the very top of your smart TV hub. You have different segments. You have games here. So we have some games on the system we can actually use and play. Uh, this is the Samsung apps. This is movies and TV shows. So you can actually watch movies directly. So for instance, um, some recommended shows. There is uh, Justice League War from Samsung. We can load that and play. Uh, and see where th this content is coming from. It also gives us related content below. So this is from uh, Voodoo. You can see there's also related content here in terms of comic book stuff if you're interested in that. Uh, and you can head back. And back to the top here again, movies, TV shows. And finally, you have multimedia. And this multimedia is from different content sources. So this is this shows you stuff from YouTube right now, uh, from a USB flash drive, from your um, home server. So since we're connected to the network, uh, already it's, my home server is connected and I can go to my home server right, right below in the left hand corner. If I choose, oh, sorry, I apologize. I actually tapped that by mistake. I can jump into my home server. It's a link station. Go into videos. Um, by folder and you can watch stuff in animation things like that so you have access to it you can also you can also go into music here check out music play from music folder see what we have here so it's that kind of stuff. It's very easy to access. It's actually much faster. It looks like it's more streamlined. So we'll, we'll spend some time with it. 
Also, my PC shows up here, uh, Thunder One. Uh, so you get the good idea of what, how this TV functions. The remote seems to be much more fluid altogether. To actually switch between panels, you don't have to tap on the cursor itself. You can just slide. Seems fairly responsive um, overall. But uh, that's pretty much it. So we'll spend some time with this. We'll do a full review. We also have to check out the quad uh, TV setup, which uh, we saw at CES. We can't do that now because we haven't connected any TV sources. And that works when you have a, a input source. And then you can actually view content either on the web or, um, or off YouTube or things like that. So you get the general idea of how that actually functions altogether. But you can go ahead and check my applications, look at recommended applications and things like that. So, so let's check out some 4K content on here. So I just plugged in a HyperX USB 3.0 uh, flash drive with some uh, 4K content. And already it also pops up giving you options to check for either all photos or videos, which is pretty nice. So you can go straight to what you want. And what we want is video anyway. And there we have it. So we have the Galaxy S5 4K camera test. And you see also the remote control does have motion capabilities in there. We can click on that. So it's a very windy and cold spring day here in uh, Massachusetts. Um, outside with the Galaxy S5 there is traffic and um, shaded area here. Looks a little darker on screen. Shouldn't be dark, dark, but we'll see how it turns out. That's the and So just to let you know, guys, this is the first time I'm actually watching this content in 4K because I don't have a 4K monitor and I didn't have a 4K TV. The last one was from LG, kind of went back. So um, it actually looks very, very sharp. I mean, it looks much sharper than I expected especially viewing it off the uh, Galaxy S5 or even on my, um, my monitor uh, at home. So this thing is just vibrant. You can see how sharp it looks. Like you can see the house itself just looks, even though it's burnt to a crisp, it still looks pretty sharp altogether. We're gonna do about, uh, I'll probably say about a minute. A minute of um, sunlight and then we'll of course we do a minute night time 4k so you can see and you get an idea of the sound quality also so let's fast forward let's go to night time i just want to photo stabilization is you get a good idea i'm kind of cautiously holding this um you know my two hands and then there are a bunch of cars coming so here are the vehicles Okay, I don't need to hear myself sound that way. So you, you get the idea of how 4K content looks um, on this altogether. And you can see some of the pictures that we took earlier. And again, it's all rendered in 4K. So it looks, oh, that looks very sharp. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good right there. So there you have it. Um, the TV looks wonderful. It's, it's amazing. I can't wait to spend some time testing this out and see how, how, how well it handles. Um, one thing I just wanted to show you before we wrap up here is the source input. You hit actually uh, source and that brings a drop down menu on there. You can do screen mirroring so you can actually mirror from a device. Uh, you've got your network uh, drives, you've got USB, you also got the HDMI drives all the other drives and just kind of cycles through drop down menu from the top so that's uh that's pretty much it guys if you have any questions or any comments let us know um this is has been our unboxing and setup of the samsung u9000 uh 4k oled tv uh it's come to you in 4k resolution i didn't mention but you will see it on video um so this is thunder e saying thank you very much do subscribe to our channel and enjoy your entertainment